It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, qualifying ended Friday at 12 noon for candidates running for both county commissioner and school board seats here in Wayne County. And on Friday, a couple of candidates qualified, one for school board, one for county commissioner. Most races contested. Here's the complete list beginning with the county commissioner races in which candidates have to qualify and declare which party ticket they are running on. We begin in District 1 in which the current commissioner, Chairman Herschel Hires, has announced he's not seeking another term on the board. He will be completing his term through the end of December. In the race in District 1, three Republican candidates, Mike Gordon, Brian Griffiths, and qualifying Friday morning, Steve Jones. So again, three candidates running in District 1. Again, Mike Gordon, Brian Griffiths, and Steve Jones. In District 2, incumbent Kevin McCreary has no opposition. He'll be elected to another term on the county board. In District 3, in which incumbent Mike Roberts has also announced he's not seeking another term, four candidates have qualified to take that seat. All four on the Republican ballot. Candidates in District 3 are Larry Brantley, Tim Hopkins, Morris Melvin, and Corbett Nichols. In District 4, incumbent James Thomas is the only candidate to qualify on the Democratic ballot. He has opposition on the Republican ballot as Fred Anderson qualified on Friday morning to run in District 4. And in District 5, both Jamie Hickox and Kathy Keith have qualified both to run in November on the Republican ballot. Both are involved in this special election, which will take place tomorrow night. Again, the race will be decided tomorrow evening, and the winner will complete the remainder of Ralph Hickox's term, which runs until the end of December. But both, again, will run in November. Early voting ended on Friday at 5 p.m. in the special election, and on Friday, 24 more votes were cast. And that brings the three-week total of early voting to 201 in District 5. Again, there are 3,599 registered voters. Only 201 have early voted. Polls open tomorrow at 7 a.m., remain open until 7 p.m., the winner to be announced tomorrow night in District 5. In the school board races in District 1, Joe McPipkin is unopposed. In District 2, incumbent Bruce Harris has opposition from Kelvin Mock, who qualified on Friday. In District 3, Ray Davidson is not seeking re-election. Todd Wise qualified, is running unopposed. In District 4, incumbent Sharon Daniel running unopposed. And in District 5, incumbent Chairman Nick Ellis as opposition as Tina Mosley qualified to run in District 5. That's the list of candidates in both races for county commissioner and for school board. And the primaries are in May. The election date is November the 8th. Wish all the candidates the best of luck. We'll be talking to them on the Bitch and Bob Show. Reminder again, the special election District 5 for county commissioner set for tomorrow between candidates Jamie Hickox and Kathy Keith. And the winner will be decided tomorrow night. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Both the Wayne County Commissioners and the City of Jessup Commission meets this week. The Commissioners of Wayne County meet this evening at 6 p.m. at Courtroom C on the agenda under new business consider and approve request for proposal for pre-construction estimate on judicial complex consider and approve engineering services for design and construction for J.C. Hamilton Road consider and approve legislative bill for election board consider and approve resolution to adopt amended and restated ACCG 401A defined contribution plan Consider approved changing the Wayne County Defects Board members from 5 to 7. Consider and approved bids for ambulance. Consider and approved the intergovernment agreement with the City Just for Fire Protection. Consider and approved various vehicle purchases for the Sheriff Road and Recreation Department. And consider and approved various recreation projects. All that tonight at 6 p.m. in Courtroom C. Just some City Commissioners meet tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at City Hall on their agenda under Old Business Discussion of the Downtown Streetscape under a new business discussion of fire service agreement with the county, but also an executive session for legal claims and to talk about that solar system that they bought. Again, items with the city manager, <coughs> items with the commissioners, items with the mayor, all that tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Reminder that Governor Brian Kemp will be campaigning in just up this Friday. He'll be on hand for a meet and greet at 12 noon at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Public is invited to come out and meet and talk with the governor. Again, he'll, he's running for re-election in 2022, has opposition in his own party by David Perdue, both men seeking the Republican nomination, with the winner running against Democratic candidate Stacey Abrams in November. Again, that meet and greet is this Friday at 12 noon at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, the Chamber of Commerce are still selling tickets through their annual Taste of Wayne, set for March 31st at Coastal Pines Technical College. Tickets on sale at the Chamber of Commerce office, the number 427-2028. The time will be from 6 to 9 p.m. Location, once again, Coastal Pines Technical College. It's the Chamber's largest fundraiser of the year. Taste of Wayne 
again, March 31st at Coastal Pines Technical College. If you need more information and tickets, call the chamber at 427-2028. Turning Point Worship Center is sponsoring a night to remember this Friday, March 18th, from 6 to 9 p.m. at Coastal Pines Technical College. Events built as an unforgettable prom experience for people with special needs. It will feature a red carpet experience, the crowning of a prom, queen and king, photos, dinner, dancing, and more. And that's taking place this Friday night at 6 to 9 p.m. at Coastal Pines Technical College. And the Wayne County Board of Tourism's Altamar River Run is set for Saturday, April 2nd. This year's paddle begins at 8.30 a.m. at the Upper County Landing. Paddlers have a choice of two takeout points. 11-mile paddle takes out a pig farm at Oglethorpe Landing. 16-mile paddle takes out a J.C. Landing. Registration for the event is $10 per paddler. Children 10 under paddle for free with the registered adult. Altamar River Expeditions has canoe and kayak rental for $45 each. You can contact them at 912-294-3604. Shuttles will be available from the takeout points with the shuttle leaving J.C. Landing at 8 o'clock and Oglethorpe Landing at 8.15 a.m. Registration forms are available at the Jessup Train Depot or online at the Tourism Board website, waynetourism.com. Again, they ask that you bring your hat, sunscreen, and snack lunch. Enjoy a, a day on the Altamar River. Again, the Altamar River runs set for Saturday, April the 2nd. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.